Hey, this is Mike. Thank you so much for choosing this video. Tonight, we're checking out a 2019 Toyota Corolla in the XSE trim level at night. So this focuses on the interior and exterior lighting only. The full video and the test drive will be on my channel, separate videos. So first I want to point, off, point out that you can actually turn off all the exterior lights by putting the light switch to the daytime running light off position. So it's completely dark. Some vehicles you can't turn off all the lights, but this one you can. Now I have the parking lights on only. So you can see it has these accents that are not really daytime running lights. You can't really see them too bright during the day, but they look fantastic at nighttime. The daytime running lights are actually in the headlight, just a dimmer version of the headlight. But these look really nice at nighttime. Now I have the low beams on and the fog lights. So the headlights, all the exterior lighting on this vehicle is powered by LEDs. So the headlights are in a projector tube for your low and your high beams. It basically just refocuses the beam. And then the, there's your fog light down here at the bottom. There's a little focusing lens in there. Here's the turn signal here in the front, amber in color. And you see it's powered by LEDs. How you can tell it's LEDs is on and off. There's no fading on and off like a regular bulb, which has to heat up a little filament in there and it fades on and off. You can see side markers there. It even has a, uh, a turn signal on the side mirrors. A little side marker there in the back. And the amber turn signal here in the back. And there's your tail lights. They look pretty sweet. The tag light illuminates the ground a little bit as well behind the vehicle. Nice soft glow of the tail lights. But nice and bright can see it from a great distance. So here's a first person view of the headlights. So right now we have the low beams. You can see that line there in the bushes kind of keeping most of the light below pe other people's eyes basically. And there's your high beams. And we will take, take it for a drive so you can see what it actually looks like on the road. Uh, but this camera is a little bit better than the driving camera. So it can give you an idea, very bright and powerful lights. Uh, very satisfied with the lighting uh, driving this vehicle. Now when you turn the high beams on, the fog lights will turn off. Take a look on the inside now, starting with the trunk area. And I have a bunch of stuff back here, and this is good. Now we have some light coming from the parking lot, so you can see how dark it is actually over here, uh, because there's only one source of illumination here on the right side, and the left side is completely dark. So anything you put in here is going to cast a shadow on the other side. Um, so as long as you're aware of that, you want to put your tall stuff on the left and the short stuff on the right or something uh, because that is an issue as far as not much light back here. Inside of the back door has one illuminated power window button. The back seats, it's a good thing this is a light interior. Uh, it does have the black carpet. Um, so you can see it has a dome light there in the center. And it does a pretty good job of the light interior, but it is, um, you know, not a huge amount of light. But overall, there's good overall lighting. 
but nothing specific. There's no door pocket lights, there's no illumination approach lights or anything like that, no puddle lights on the ground, floorboard illumination, none of that. The buttons here on the driver's side door are all backlit illuminated. And you have some illuminated uh, buttons here to the left of the steering wheel. The floorboards are dark. You basically have a dome light here. So you have one in the back and one here in the center in the front. You see it illuminates the seats quite well. There's not a huge amount of shadow, so it does a good job as far as the dome light goes. Okay, so I'm sitting behind the wheel. I do have the door open. Let's go ahead and shut it. Interior lights fade away and we're left with the backlit lights here. You see it. You can see on the steering wheel. Backlit buttons. There's your gauges. We can adjust the dim. There's a little dimmer switch here. There's the it also adjusts the brightness of your buttons and uh, everything over here except for the screen the screen is not adjusted that way but all these buttons here were all adjusted with that scroll wheel so it's not just the dash the um, gauges So down here, there's actually, let me turn on the uh, night vision here because you can see there's a pocket there that's not illuminated. There's some back little illuminated buttons there. Here, the cup holders are not illuminated, completely dark to my eyes. Same thing with this pocket here, completely dark. Even the power supply in there, there's no backlit illumination. It would have been nice to have some illumination here in the pocket. Uh, same thing with the cup holders and this little pocket up in here. Also, you have some ports that are not illuminated. So you can see those with the night vision, but they're not illuminated. So when I cover up the little night vision thing, you can see there's no light coming from that. So let me turn off the night vision so you can see how dark it is here. Now the glove compartment does have a light in it, which is nice. Not super bright and it's not illuminating the whole thing, but it does have a light in it. And here's another thing that's uh, quite odd. Up in here, let me turn the night vision on. So up in here we have some lights to turn on, the interior lights. We can turn this on, we can turn that on, we can turn this on. But if it's dark and you want to turn the light on, Try to find the buttons. <laughs> there's no, there's power here. You can see this SOS and this little green light. So they could have illuminated those buttons. It's not like they had to run power to some odd place. Um, so you can see the night lights are there, but trying to find them, you're gonna be pushing the emergency buttons and all kinds of stuff, uh, trying to turn on the interior lights. So I thought that was interesting. So the visors do have a nice light. So if you need an interior light, this is really good. This really adds to the light. So you open up your, your mirror on the visor and it will give you a nice bright light that illuminates all in here on your side. So that's nice. Okay, so let's go ahead and drive it down the road so hopefully you can see what it looks like um, from my perspective with the headlights and everything. So the switch has to be on and you have to have the manually put on the high beams that way it'll automatically uh, raise and lower them. Okay, so now we have high beams. I guess all those other lights were tricking it. So we have high beams. It doesn't recognize that car that's way ahead of us. I guess it's too far away. But look at this. Isn't this nice? Uh, hopefully the camera can pick this up. Really nice bright headlights. And uh, even when there's cars coming, it, it, it lowers the light and has a nice clear line below. But you can see all the way here in the edge in the ditch area and all over the place. Even when the on, on the low beams. These are fantastic headlights.
Now these are active bending headlights. So as I turn, I don't know if you can see that, as I turn the steering wheel, they will actually turn in the direction in which I'm turning them. So now we're going through a swamp and it is very dark in here. And uh, so you can just get an idea of what the headlights, how good they are when there's no other cars around. You can see it's very dark in here and we have bright illumination into the sides and a little bit into the trees as well. The road is nicely lit. All the reflectors and everything are illuminated in the distance. Just a really pleasant night drive, even when it's pitch black area like this. So there you have it, 2019 Toyota Corolla XSC hatchback at night. So you get an idea of what it looks like, what the lighting is all about, interior and exterior. And don't forget, you can check out my channel for all the other videos, uh, test drive video, feature overview video, completely in depth on all the buttons, all the switches, all the features that this vehicle has. So you can check it out at your convenience. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next time.